to Baby. Eat the game. J.J. Watt says, there's a report coming out about me today. Let me clarify some things. Yes, my heart stopped. Yes, they had to restart it. Yes, that was yesterday. Is my heart beating? Yes, I'm playing today. <laughs> End of story. Basically. Yeah, I almost died. Okay. So? Well, it's fucking football, dude. He gave this interview after the game with the Arizona Cardinals. It was, uh, it was just weird. Just weird. I have a baby on the way. Save the game with that tip pass. Yeah. Yeah. The boys played good today. I don't I don't I don't want to take away from the great game. Looking to get a little bit of emotional because he thought maybe he was gonna die on Wednesday, yeah. maybe or Thursday there. Uh, with a baby on the way. That's the only reason why you would say that is am I gonna miss something? Uh, it seemed like. And then asshole reporter says, Oh, tip pass or the Save baby. The I wanna give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Recha Ha Kwadash and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Honors and salute to you other brethren, you fellow followers and believers of the truth, of this truth, and shalom to the elect, to the hopefully elect, shalom to the elect. So anyway, I got this article um, right after the situation we've all known to happen. Uh, we got this article in this football player he has, he dropped from atrial fibrillation. It's called AFib. I, I had that happen to me some years back. So when one part of the heart beats irregular from the electrical signals. So I've taken um, measures in minerals, which is magnesium. Magnesium tarate is really good for that. And anybody who got irregular rhythms or heart skips and beats. I think mo uh, a lot of people actually does skip. They just don't know it. Um, but anyway, it's a cardio um, situation. Let's say that. So I'm not, I'm, I think I'm just post this on this channel. So I, it's not much I could say on it, but given to all the news and everything that's been happening, you can kind of see. So what I'm going to do, I went to this guy page. You probably be able to see it here talking about the real reasons right and then i just went to the comments i saw what he said made some good points uh, but i went to the comments and this person name is henry lee he says he talks about his wife so i'm gonna say this kind of broken talks about his wife his wife died passed out uh, he said his wife was in perfect perfectly good health no smoke, no drink. Uh, she, she doesn't smoke. She doesn't drink. Said, thank God I was there as it happened. Rushed to the emergency room. They did what they needed to do and got her back going. Um, she had blocked blood flow to her heart. Happened. This is, when is this comment? like three days ago so it said it happened two weeks ago uh, and, they had, and she had the surgery and still recovering right under it somebody said it possibly two years ago um, I'm not going to read this one because you know what will happen if I read that one um, somebody here named Jamaica Jackson um, this person said my wife was dead set on it, right? He begged, he said, he said no, beg, begged her and all that stuff. I'm just saying it's all broken. Um, then he says his wife basically is always basically, uh, having issues, battling issues after issues that's what the comment says um you know second corinthians which we know this one off the top second corinthians 2 and 11 said we are not ignorant of satan's devices uh, i'm gonna go here somebody said i went to the bank and talked to i'm gonna read this 
best that I can. I went to the bank and talked to my talked to my something lady who always basically the teller that always makes the deposit deposits. She asked me how was my Christmas and I asked her how was hers. She said she had a tragedy. Her 23 year old son who was in college had cardiac arrest and died two days before Christmas. She said he went to the bathroom and his roommates noticed he was in there 30 minutes and they went to check on him. He had collapsed and died. So tragic. Lots of people such as such and such as such heart failure. Okay. Um, let me see if I can go here. I'm just raw with this. Somebody said straight facts. Um, people have stories. Somebody said, I have a co-worker that got the um, the oils, right? And have been not in too good condition. Um, just catching basic little illnesses and it's just I can't even say the rest of it but you know what it is just they can't get through you know can't get through um, somebody said my brother um, my brother did them all I guess that's the best way I say it my brother did them all and ended up clots in his arm and he died just last year of a clot to the heart my niece um, my niece had two um, attacks let me say that last year afterwards you see this is all this is all like just coming out, you know. It's more than what you think. Um, obviously, a lot of these comments I can't read, but some I just sift through the through the surface. But it's a lot of people on here with so-called testimonies. I'll say that so-called. You know what I mean by that. Um. People saying it's happening all over. This is all I'm seeing. Um, somebody else says they're 53 years old. They never did anything like that. What, what's happening on here, what I'm reading, I'm reading a lot of the comments. My cousin just passed early this week passed out in front of her children on the day after Christmas 37 years old this is no joking matter um, there's a lot of things I would like to say but you, you know I would have to say it on another platform um, I had two cousins kick it. you get the point this is nothing but comments after comments after comments of the aftermath this is this is crazy my co-worker my niece my brother um cancer sudden heart failure damn i mean this is all through the comments everybody is leaving comments about somebody that they know and this is like 1500 how many comments is on here almost 2000 comments and literally every comment I've seen the majority of them people was given so called testimonies so called testimonies right of loved ones let me get a scripture before I close. I'm not going to talk too much, too much on this matter. 
2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a fallen away first, and that that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. That's all I have on that, Shalom. Oh, and you should know who this man is. All you people that say, the powers that be, and this and that, and they, and that, and this, and that. Yeah, you ought to start uh, paying attention. Shalom.